My vision is to end our internal suffering by instilling resilience into humanity. Resilience being the ability to prepare for, recover from, and adapt in the face of stress, challenges, and adversity. Let's face it, there's a lot of people suffering out there. There's depression, anxiety, and PTSD, and suicides up the rampant right now. There's certain people that are talking about it, but there's a lot of people that are not, and the time is now to start speaking about that. So growing up as a little kid, I grew up scared, fight or flight, really, all the time. But what I remember is, in second grade, I'm waiting for everyone to go to sleep. And the reason was is because I was scared of what my dad was gonna do to my mom. Uh, my dad, because of the childhood he had, and because of the experiences he had, he was a product of his environment, and he was very abusive verbally to my mother, also sometimes physically. And so I was afraid of that happening at night. So I would remember just kind of peeking, opening the door just a little bit, having my ear on there, and it could be, you know, hours, me just kind of waiting, listening. And if something would happen, if there was an argument, um, I would try to just bust in and, um, you know, kind of diffuse the argument. And this happened since second grade till I was 18 when I moved out of the house to go to college. And there was just so much suffering that I witnessed as a kid, whether it was um, my dad or my mom or my sister, or other immediate family. People would just come up to me and tell me their life story. At the time, I had no idea as to why. Four years ago, I quit a lot of my life. I was in the oil and gas for 10 plus years in Houston, Texas, where I was with companies like Chevron and BHP Billiton. Uh, had increasing roles of financial analysts, I then became an independent consultant, helping companies all over the United States. And then finally, getting hired by a consultancy firm where I became the vice president of business development, where we did a lot of things, operations in US, Mexico, and Southeast Asia, primarily in Cambodia. Finally, I just woke up one of these days and decided to quit all that. It, the pot had been burning. There was something like burning inside. I was helping companies, but I wasn't helping people. And I didn't know how. There's an infamous quote by Tony Robbins that says, if you want to take the island, burn your f***ing boats. And what I mean by that is, the island represents your goals, dreams, aspirations. And the boat, was I was really sailing through a storm. There was a lot of toxicity in my life. And me burning the boats was me burning old relationships, toxic relationships, toxic environments, toxic habits, and the whole realm of physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. I ended up taking everything out of my savings that I had saved for during this oil and gas period and decided, well, you know what? Time is our number one asset. We're never gonna get that back. And I thought, wow, what if I chose 24-7, 365 to do something meaningful, finding my purpose, living in the present moment, you know, really gaining my power back because I had been really broken down throughout a lot of my life. You know, that ego-centered, I'm not good enough, I don't have enough mentality, constantly in my head, in the past, running these stories, or in the future, hoping, wishing, praying, and most likely uh, afraid of what may happen next. But so I started to really burn my boats and start this journey, start to swim to my island. And during that swim, I came up with a framework of a lot of foundational principles that I've really been learning since I was a kid, but started to really refine as I started to swim, really starting to face my demons, that hero's journey, if you will, really departing from societal ways of living, descending into the abyss, into the, the, the dark, being comfortable with the dark, feeling, you know, what the shadows were in my life, which are the things that, you know, we hide, suppress, and deny about ourselves. Really finally facing that and going through the deep inner work. My vision is to end our internal suffering by instilling resilience into humanity. Resilience being the ability to prepare for, recover from, and adapt in the face of stress, challenges, and adversity. Where are we on? Hey, excuse oh. me. Where, where do you think you're going? Don't hey, get your over you here. what you gotta do, right? If you liked that video, what are you gonna do? You might as well just like like it. You know, should they like it? Conscious creative It is content. conscious creative. It is, and maybe you should comment, you know, and let us know what you thought. Let us know if you have any questions. 
definitely share this video with somebody you think might need to hear it, especially this guy right here. And don't forget, keep laughing, keep learning, learning. and connect with someone today. Connect with somebody today. Like heart connecting, to heart. like this. Connect. Right there. Connect. Corazón. You want to connect? Corazón. Corazón. Connect it. Just keep connecting. Connect it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>